How's it going, NPC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. Wow. Just wow. Um, this video is going to be me talking about the situation between Russia and Ukraine. I tried to avoid this situation for a while, but it's been going on um, for a while, and it's been going on for a long time. So, first off, I'm going to say I'm not a news source at all. Please do your own research. I just want to talk about it, my own thoughts, and why I think it's going to happen and stuff like that. A lot of people think World War, Th World War Three will happen. Um, no. What might happen is it has a chance, but I don't think uh, other countries will get involved except some European countries, like allies to... Ukraine, allies to Russia will get involved. That's pretty much it. Will the U.S. get involved? Probably not. Only if we're attacked, just like every other war we've been in. Um, so, let's talk about that. Let's talk about... will. Let's first off talk about will the U.S. get involved. I don't think Congress wants to declare war on anybody at all, because we... Russia knows, and the U.S. knows that we have the nuclear weapons to go to war. And if we do declare war on Russia, it's going to be a nuclear war, I think. So I don't think the U.S. will get involved. I hope not. So will this conspire longer than people think it's going to be? A lot of people think it won't be past a month. By the end of next month, it'll probably be over. This is why I think it's going to happen. I think... Russia is trying to take over the Ukraine and then ev evade other old allies to the USSR or old puppet states or old puppet countries, puppet states that the USSR uh, claimed. I think is I think that's what's going to happen is um, Russia is trying to, well, especially Vladimir Putin, who used to be a former KGB officer, is going to try and re reunite the USSR. And make it a whole again. The USSR hasn't been a thing over 30 years since 1991. And I think the USSR will try to... I think Russia will try to form a second USSR by taking over Ukraine and other countries that affiliated themselves with the USSR. Back when Stalin was in power. Back when Khrushchev was in power, the last leader of the Soviet Union. And he'll call it something, probably something else, probably something different than what it was. But it'd be something close to the USSR. Um, will they succeed? Probably not. See, back then, the Russian bar wasn't ready for a revolution since World War I was going on. And... They lost wars to Japan as well at the time. So they were wasn't really ready for a revolution now. Russia is... But there's more... From 1917 to 19... From 1917 to 2022, which we are the year that we're in now, um, military, <laughs> military advancements have happened. So there's a lot of advancements in military and military weapons. So I, do I think will do I think the new do I think Russia will form a new USSR? I think they're going to try. They're not just going. I don't think they're just going to declare war on the Ukraine. Well, uh, but the U.S. I don't think is going to get involved in case something happens to them and they get attacked. That's the only time the U.S. would declare war, or Biden will ask the U.S. to declare war on the Russians. But will other countries get involved eventually? Yes. Probably neighboring countries to Ukraine that are friends of Ukraine. And probably neighboring countries to Russia, which is a lot of countries that are actually allied with Russia. I think China will eventually get involved if they want to, if they need to. Um, North Korea, same way, if they want to or if they need to. But I think there will be a sort of European war. Will it become war, a world war? That's all up to the U.S. and other countries around the world. They're not in Europe. It can be, or in Asia. 
It can be any country around the world. It can be any country in South America, North America. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't just have to involve the U.S. That's a world war is to get one country from each. It's basically how a world war starts is at least one or two countries from each continent basically gets involved. That's how World War One and World War Two got involved. Um, because U.S. made it a world war when they joined. It was mostly a European war and both and both. Right now it's another it's just a war between two countries. Will it become a European war? Most likely because Britain said they're going to um, think about stuff, think about their actions and think about what they're going to do. If Britain does declare war on Russia and other countries like China who is allied with Russia in the past, who is also allied with North Korea and Russia is also allied with North Korea will probably declare war on Britain and the Ukraine. So, I don't know what else will happen. That's pretty much it that I think is going to happen. Will World War Three come out? No. Will a draft happen? If World War Three does happen, probably not because the U.S. has war. A lot of people in the army right now to go to war. But if a draft ever does happen, I don't think a lot of people will be drafted. Not a, not enough or not. Not too much. There's because there's already a lot of people in the army. The U.S. has a lot of active plus reserves. So, will World War Three happen? That's what I'm basically going to say right now. I don't think so. But will it become a European war? It has the potential to. Russia has allies, like I said, of China and North Korea, who they bo- have a border with. People don't know this. North Korea and Russia have a border, and China also has a border and a pact with North Korea, and also probably has a pact with Russia, another communist country. Um, if North Korea does declare war, South Korea would declare war as well. If South Korea declares war, the U.S. might declare war, but I don't think anytime soon the U.S. would declare war only if they need to or if they get attacked, just like in World War One and World War Two. So, that's my opinion on the situation. Like I said, I'm not a news source. Please do not use my video to offend anybody. I don't want to do any of that. This is just my thoughts on the situation between Ukraine and Russia. I don't want to use this as a news source. Don't do any of that. This is just for information purposes. I don't know why they're attacking. Russia's attacking Ukraine. I think it's, well, like I said, to reinform, re form the USSR. That's what I think is going to happen, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're there, press share button, press like button, press red shiny subscribe button, press bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.